Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reader from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's about answering your questions. And the questions we're answering today are all about natural ways to stay healthy. If you would like to get your questions answered, please join us on our private Facebook group, Biblical Nutrition Academy. And to enter into that private Facebook group, all you have to do is download first the seven steps to amazing biblical health. That's free. The entry into the Facebook group is free and it's all here to help you stay healthy and just to be, to be able to experience the health that God designed for you. So as you know, if you've been watching and if you haven't, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and the like and the bell, all of that. If you're listening on podcasts, be sure and leave a review at the end. That way more people will hear about God's recipe for excellent health. And it is always my joy to share with you this recipe. And never forget the number one ingredient. The very first ingredient is knowing that God loves you. All right, let's get started answering today's questions. Question number one, I'm experiencing pain in my hip. The doctor said it's arthritis. What foods or supplements are best for this? And what foods should I avoid? I've been reading about collagen to add to my diet. Would that help? Thank you for allowing me to ask. And this is submitted by Lisa. Now, first of all, let me just say that the information that I share here on this podcast or this video is for information, is for education only. And, and always you are to consult your doctor or your healthcare provider. What I'm sharing with you is just generic and you always need to follow up with your doctor. Arthritis is inflammation. Now, I know this is very elementary for most of you. In the Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study or the DVD series, actually, that's, that's this right here which also comes in the CDs as well, if you still listen to CDs. But Dr. Cooey does an extensive amount of teaching on inflammation and how to correct it, how to get, help your body get rid of it. And it's a very good talk, one of the most popular talks in this entire study. And so what he's going to teach you is the same thing we've been teaching you. Eat by the three principles and go through the seven steps to amazing biblical health to get the, to glean those three principles. We also teach about it in the 40 day transformation. There are three principles that are timeless. They will carry you through almost any situation. Those three principles, when we get rid of processed foods and altered foods and, and chemical foods, we start to reheal the microbiome. The microbiome is actually where inflammation begins. It starts with leaky gut. When we get rid of the harmful foods, we stop contributing to the process of inflammation. We also start healing the microbiome. And this is very important because once the microbiome, the, the, the good bacteria in your gut, once that starts to heal, it starts to work for you. It starts to help promote better hormones, hormonal balance. It helps to pr um, bring balance into blood sugar. But what it also does is what you're asking is it helps to heal leaky gut. Leaky gut is how inflammation begins in the microbiome. So we need to heal the microbiome with, that will help heal the leaky gut, which will help eliminate and reduce the inflammation in your body. And so what to avoid? Any lab experienced food, any fake food, and just starting there and your body's gonna feel less stress. And the other element, which we talk about extensively in, in two different courses, one is the 40-day transformation, which I highly recommend, and the other is the Daniel Fast. And it's about fasting, learning to not eat for 12 hours. We start with a shorter fast, a five-hour fast, and then we build to a 12-hour fast. And if you need help with this, that's why we have the Inner Circle Coaching Group. My husband's doctor was writing prescriptions faster than our hearts were beating with stress. Yet, could there be another way? Is there another answer? Well, that is when a friend suggested to me, Annette, go back into God's Word, start reading it differently, and start with the Daniel Fast. Well, those words changed the trajectory of our lives. And 30 days later, we were prescription-free, 35 pounds lighter, combined total, lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and we knew that God had answered our prayer for greater health 
His way. Now, if you are praying for an answer on how to get started, I highly recommend the Daniel Fast. First, go to the biblicalnutritionacademy.com website, click on the Daniel Fast, and sign up. It's that easy. Plus, the link will be in the show notes below. Collagen is an animal-based product, and it, they're very specific in their healing. Not all collagens heal everything. It's not just a one and done. And if you're going to do collagen, I suggest you just start with making your own bone broth first and let your own body heal from that. And then yes, sometimes collagen helps and other times it needs to be more specific type of collagen for the specific, specific type of problem that you're dealing with. So this is a really good question. So many people are plagued with arthritis and other um, itises, inflammation throughout their body. We have to start with the leaky gut. We have to start with the microbiome. That's our starting point. But always remember, it all starts with our mindset as well. So I hope this helps you, Lisa, and I look forward to seeing you in the 40-day transformation course if you have not joined that already. Question number two, how can I use my diet to keep my hormones balanced after menopause? This was submitted by Pam. Okay, Pam, I totally understand this question really well. Hormones love peace, they love healthy oils, and they love real food. Our emotions feed our hormones, and our hormones feed our emotions. It's a cycle that needs attention. This is why so many women lean towards yoga and other forms of mysticism, Eastern mysticism. Yet God's word is the place to go for meditation and for peace. Keep, keep God's word in your heart Memorize a verse every month that brings a sense of, hey, he's got this in your mind so you can just focus on that every day. This transforms your cells and especially your hormones greater than any diet can ever do. Now, I personally am not discovering this for the first time, but actually I'm taking it more seriously now than ever. Using the 40-day transformation course is going to help walk you through your beliefs, help you do a download and make sure every belief is in agreement with God's word. It's also going to look at your eating patterns. Next, we look at our food. Eat real food, no low fat, no altered food, no low carb, no more man's rules. Eat the foods that God called good for you. And if you want to put a label on this type of eating, the best diet plan out there is the Mediterranean with periods of rest and fasting. The Mediterranean diet is real fat, not high fat, it's just real fat, high quality protein, real vegetables, real fruit, and real dairy. And yes, you're going to have some whole grains in there as well. The meat needs to be raised in a way that is very healthful for the animal and for us. The fish needs to be wild caught. The more we eat processed foods, we have stress, we have lab experiment foods, or we're jumping from hype to hype to hype, the more confused our hormones are going to be and the less at peace we're going to be. In Galatians 5, the spirit is at war with the flesh. Our hormones are in this battle and they want you to succeed, yet they fight with what serves them. So whatever you serve your hormones for dinner is going to either create peace of mind or it's going to create havoc in your hormones. We need to understand God's got this. No more fake foods, no more, no more uh, lab experiment foods. We need to take time in meditation. And what I have here is just a Rolodex of cards. When I'm in a stressful situation, especially if you're over 50, you really need to focus on this. I have a Rolodex of cards. And then I would just flip through the cards and see what verse is really resonating with me for that day. And then I just keep that card out in front of me where I work. And like I just told you, Galatians 5, 16, but I say, walk by the spirit and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. So our hormones, when they are acting up, that means we've got a battle between our mindset and our eating plan. And we need to settle that. So meditation is the most important thing you can do to keep your hormones balanced. Your cells respond to what you believe, what you say, and what you think. So let's bring that calmness to our hormones. And yes, our hormones are greatly affected by what you eat. So no more fake foods, all right? Only real food is close to the way God designed it. And your hormones will say, whew, boy, that's much nicer. So figure out your stresses in your life. If you need help, do the 40-day transformation or join the inner circle. We help you work through all of this. This is a really good question and I can totally relate to it. Thanks for asking. 
Question number three, what should be my diet for a sensitive colon? This was submitted by Giovanna. Okay, sensitive colon, which is considered the large intestine, is actually a, an upper GI problem. That's where it starts. It also starts in the mouth. Now we covered this greatly uh, in the inner circle just last month with reviewing 350 different questions you can answer about your body and therefore I delivered 350 answers for healing and this was one of them. This is a huge chapter in that study. So using the hunger satisfied journal is first to identify what foods are going to make bring up bring you upset in your stomach and how we can work around those foods. Sometimes it's just an ingredient in the food. So by identifying it, by journaling what you're eating every single day, every single bite, if you bite it, you have to write it. Most of all, I want you to plan ahead of time, but sometimes we don't. So when we don't plan ahead of time, we still need to write down what we've eaten. And by doing that, we can start to identify what's contributing to a sensitive colon. Remember, your colon is just, it's where your body filters everything that you bring in. It's like a barrier to the outside world because everything you bring in from the outside world, you then consume and you, it has to pass through. And your colon is like, is like that border wall. And it says, oh, I like you, you can come in. I don't like you, you cannot come in. But when it's been inundated with so many processed foods and chemicals and contaminants and toxins, it, it, it's like, you know, I don't care anymore. You just let her absorb whatever. And it becomes inflamed and becomes very sensitive. So we have to stop that. We have to stop bringing in toxins into our diet and let our digestive system say, Whew, boy, that was a much easier day than I was expecting. And then it has time to heal. This is where fasting helps too. It allows our digestive system time to, for us to hit the pause button. I'm going to fast for five hours between meals. That's our first goal. I'm going to fast for 12 hours overnight. I'm going to fast for 16 hours a couple times a week. And then our digestive system says, wow, she must really love me. He must really care about me. So when you have a sensitive colon, number one is we have to track every single thing you're eating and every single thing you're taking as far as medications, if you're putting lotions on your body, because it all gets filtered through your body. We have to work on our mindset. That is key to this. So from there, we need to build up our microbiome. Now, I have started working with almost two years now, I'm so excited, that with a company called Amari for rebuilding the microbiome. It's, it's a specific purpose. It's known as the mental fitness company because when we rebuild the microbiome, and which I could probably say with your colon being very sensitive, you're having issues with your mental focus because it's connected. So when we rebuild the microbiome with supplements that Amari has, all of a sudden it's like, oh, Okay, well that is helping speed up the recovery. So if you wanna to go to amari.com and look into these products, I can give you a $10 coupon, and I'll put a link down below. Just use the coupon code 34828 and you get $10 off automatically. So just wanted to share that with you. I have lots of resources and I just wanna make sure you're getting the best results. So thanks for asking this question. I look forward to seeing your results posted in our Facebook group or in our Inner Circle Coaching group so that we can see how great you're doing with the, with the transformation. Question number four. What is your advice for a 41-year-old male who has been overweight since his early 20s on losing weight? This was submitted by Chris. Okay, Chris, this is not a quick answer, yet it can be summarized by what I've already shared so far in this video and podcast. The first question is, why have you been overweight? Now this is what the 40 day transformation is key to help you eliminate um, in order to make this discovery. We need to identify why you're overweight. What happened back then in your 20s to go to food? What were you looking for? What were you, what were you searching for? Was there a brain injury? Was there an emotional trauma? Was there an illness that altered your microbiome? Were you on a lot of antibiotics at one time? You see, all of these answers are gonna help us identify what's going on and how to fix it. And so we need to have these answers for complete healing. Where do you want to be? What are you willing to let go of to get there? What do you believe about God's intervention in your life? How much do you love who you are? Those are other answers that we need to identify. So once you have these answers, and let me then add, now this is exactly why we have the inner circle, to help you navigate these questions and discover the answers for yourself 
and it's only $67 a month and I've never paid for coaching for myself at that low of a price and it's all about you getting results and as, as economically as we can offer it and you get coaching four times a week. So you really need to check that out. So once we have these answers, we can start making the shifts in our thinking and in our eating to make this part of your past. And you can finally say, that is not me anymore. I am in my 40s and I no longer suffer with weight issues. But it starts with answering those questions. And many people will just skip to, well, just eat this, don't eat that. But if you don't answer those questions, you're not identifying why you eat this and why you don't eat that. Once we identify those answers, you're gonna be like, I never thought of that before. I never saw that happening before. Now I know why this is happening. And antibiotics, medications, um, processed foods interrupt the gut microbiome, which interferes with what you absorb and what you don't absorb. And that interferes with weight loss. And it's also about hormones, which I've already talked about. So I look forward to seeing you in the, the private groups and in the 40 day transformation and the inner circle so we can work through this together. And whether you sign up for one month or 12 months, it doesn't matter, the results are going to come. So thanks for asking that question. Well, now I just wanna say thank you all of you for submitting your questions, joining us in this private Facebook group so I can answer your questions. And also for those of you who have taken the step into the 40 day transformation, that is the smartest move you can ever make because you have that course for the rest of your life. And many people have taken it three, four, five times because each time you go through it, you're at a different point in your life. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna go through this again and take it myself to the next level, and then to the next level, because you can apply these principles in every area of your life, your marriage, your work, your relationships, everything. So it is that transformational. So it is an amazing course, and I look forward to seeing everyone there. Until next time, I am Annette Reader from thebiblicalnutritionist.com. I always, always, always enjoy serving you God's recipe for excellent health. And never forget the first ingredient, it's God's love for you. He's loved you from the moment of conception. He's loved you with an everlasting love. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is always there for you. And never forget that. And you can always call on Him. He is our almighty God. He is our Lord and Savior. He is, he is with the tri, tri, the, <laughs> can't even say it, the Trinity with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.